Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we will understand the electrolytic cell, which is also known as the voltmeter. So, for understanding the electrolytic cell or the voltmeter, I have considered a NaCl solution kept in a vessel. In this NaCl solution, I have inserted two electrodes. As we move ahead, we will understand what is the electrode. Now, initially, these electrodes are not connected to any of the battery. After connected these electrodes to the battery, what will happen is that since this left hand side electrode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, this left hand side electrode will become positively charged, and the right hand side electrode, which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery, will become negatively charged. Now, in the NaCl solution, we have one electrode which is positively charged and another electrode which is negatively charged. This positively charged electrode is known as anode, and this negatively charged electrode is known as cathode. Since there is a potential difference due to the positive and negative electrode, what will happen is that the NaCl solution, the NaCl solution, will get dissociated into its ions. That is, NaCl will break down into Na plus ions. And Cl minus ions. Since the anode is positively charged, what will happen is that Cl minus ions will get attracted towards the positively charged anode. Why? Because opposite charges attract each other. Now anode is positively charged and Cl is negatively charged, so they both will get attracted each other, and all the Cl minus ions will come and form towards the anode. The same happens with the Na plus ions. Since cathode is negatively charged, these Na plus ions will get attracted towards the cathode because cathode is minus and Na is plus. So opposite charges attract each other, and all these Na plus ions will get attracted towards the cathode. Now, what happens after they get attracted towards the pole is the uh, opposite poles is that. At anode, we all know Cl minus is attracted. So Cl minus, why it is minus? Because it has one extra free electron. So Cl will give its extra electron. This Cl minus at anode will give its extra electron and become Cl. Okay. After giving this extra electron, this extra electron which is given by this Cl minus ions will travel through this conductor and reach the battery. After the electron which is given by Cl minus ions will reach the battery, this electron which will co come through the battery towards the cathode. When it reaches the cathode, remember over here we are having Na plus. What is the meaning of Na plus? Is that why is Na plus? Because it is deficient of one electron. It needs one electron. Therefore, it is positively charged. So, this electron which is lost by the Cl minus ions. Will be taken up by this Na plus ions. So what will what will be the reaction at cathode? We all must have understood. So at the cathode, we get Na. We initially had Na plus. It takes that electron which is lost by this Cl minus, and we get Na, which is stable. Now we we had Cl minus, which reduces its, which loses its electrons and becomes stable again to Cl. And we had Na plus, which takes that electron lost by Cl minus, and again becomes stable to Na. Now the process in which loss of electron takes place is known as oxidation. Over here, Cl minus is losing its electron, therefore this process is known as oxidation. And at cathode, Na plus is taking one electron, therefore the process in which there is gain of electrons, it is known as Reduction. If we add the left hand side and right hand side, the resultant reaction will be Na plus plus Cl minus, which gives rise to Na plus and Cl. Cl. See, practically we had seen that initially we had Na plus ions and Cl minus ions, but afterwards they again turn to its stable form that is Na and Cl. So the process in which there is oxidation taking place as well as reduction taking place, this process is known. As redox reaction, and guys, the process in which this 
anions and cations are separated is no nothing but known as electrolysis process so this is all what happens in the electrolytic cell or the voltameter so the electrons flow from anode to cathode since electron flow from anode to cathode current will always flow from cathode to anode why because electrons are negatively charged and they flow from anode to cathode but whereas current is a flow of positive charges so positive charge is always opposite to negative charge therefore current will flow from cathode to anode so guys this was uh, all about uh, electrolytic cell and one more point which i wanted to mention is that the electro the electrolyte as a whole remains neutral during the process of electrolysis as equal number of charges are neutralized at the electrode we all know one electron lost by cl minus will be taken by this na so in short the electron which is going from here which is, it is producing a electricity in the conductor and it is again gained by this na so the overall loss is nothing because the law electron is lost over here and it is again gained over here so this electrolyte as a whole always remains neutral so guys this was all about the mechanism of electrolytic cell or the voltmeter if you have liked this video please do share with your friends and comment below and subscribe to the channel and get to know everything about the chapter electrolysis uh, in for j for a j as well as common entrance examinations guys thanks for watching this video